I, I told you I'd be back. I, I got that Wi-Fi. So I, I am, guess where? <laughs> my favorite drink. It is so delicious. I don't know why I have to come here to get it. But I could probably just make it at home, but I don't. Is the Wi-Fi good? Is like the stream really good? It's Google Starbucks, so obviously one would hope, right? I guess I could have done like a speed test, but I didn't. Question. Do I run a full-time online business? Yes, I do. All the deets, SavvySexySocial.com. It's bad. Is it a bad connection? Okay, well, maybe this person's just a jerk. 619, are you a jerk? Do you want to go? I will not be at Content Marketing World. I believe it butts up against Inbound. Oh, did I really? I didn't know that he was live. M. For Vincenzo. I'm helping out today. I pimp, I'm, I'm pimping out the Applebee's today. I think he's happy. He's got a lot of viewers. He has all of Applebee's viewers right now. Like, he doesn't even... I didn't do anything. Dudes, I can't believe you're going to Content Marketing World and I'm not going to be there. Well, that's, that's the situation we're in, I guess. Um, I... Yeah, I'm speaking at Inbound, so sorry about ya. What's up, Jean? Jean is my buddy, my pal, my friend. Jean, every time I see you, I'm like, I want to go to Ottawa so I can visit Jean. By the way, guys, hearts on fire, Dr. Quinn, medicine woman. I want to get to 100,000 hearts today, so just like literally just, just tap incessantly until like you get, what's that thing that people get? Carpal tunnel. <laughs> okay, so I'm at Starbucks. This is where I come when I need to get out of the freaking office and do work. Of course, now I'm on live stream with you, so not doing work. But I'm sort of obsessed right now. I really want to get to 100,000 hearts. Help me, help me, help me. Um, in the meantime, where do you work? Tell me in the comments. Do you work in an office? Do you work out of your house? Do you work on a train? Do you work out of Starbucks? Keep chirping. <laughs> I don't care if your fingers hurt. First world problems. Home office. Jean's in a home office. Me too. E1 is in a regular office. Matt's in a house. Joe's a school district tech center. That's interesting. A retail shop. We've got a retailer. Top sports cards. Is that what that said? Top home office, home office. Lamborghini UK. We should be friends. Where did you come from? <laughs> Lots of people at home. Funeral. That's so funny. Funerals have come up two streams in a row here. I'm really sorry, I just listened to that stream back that I just did and it was really windy and crappy, but I was having so much fun, I'm sorry. Teacher, entrepreneur, I like it. I like it, teacher, wellness, advocate, and consultant. That's interesting. Hmm, I like it. Okay, so, beach body coach, work from home or anywhere, I love it. I love it, that's awesome. That is how I like to live my life as well. Although I love calling Columbus home. I have tried Beam. I just talked about this a couple of streams ago because I've streamed way too many times today. I feel like that's like a dirty statement waiting to be reused. Okay, so Beam is the new social network from Casey Neistat. If you guys are not already aware, you need to have like a code to get on board, but I got that code, baby. And um, it's very interesting. Essentially, it allows you to have the experience without leaving the experience on your phone, um, being able to share it. So you hold it up to your heart or to your chest, 
when when the app's open, it just knows and like starts recording video. It's kind of insane. It looks like a developer's app um, where developers like to hang out. Gene, I will totally send you a code. I just have to open the app when I'm done here. And um, it like records for like five seconds. It's like a long five seconds. And um, it's so weird because I haven't figured out how to like watch it back myself, but I can watch other people's and you can send people reactions, but it's also sort of creepy because I don't really know when it's taking my reaction or not because like all of a sudden the camera like turns on. It's so crazy. 100,000 hearts gets me an ego stroke. Isn't that good enough? Isn't that just good enough? <laughs> Is anyone here on Beam? B-E-M-E? B-E-M-E. I wonder if they have a website. <laughs> oh. Ooh, this is an interesting article. Wired already wrote an article about it. It says, Beam has a problem. Authenticity is boring. <laughs> it is pretty boring. I mean, the downside is that you really can't, like, can't make it look better. You can't make it more fun. You can't add filters. And people just don't like sharing real life on the internet, except for apparently on live streams. But even this. I don't even look like this. This is all smoke and mirrors. <laughs> I think I saw Carrie. Hi, Carrie. I met Carrie at Social Media Day San Diego. I am still postponing this thing I really don't want to do. You know how you like end up with stuff that you're supposed to do because you want to be helpful, and then when it comes down to it, you're like... Tyler's here, and I just said social media day. Yay! Hi, Tyler. I was just talking about you today to my friend Matt Kimberly because he's my he's my business bestie, and um, I was telling him how um, he's not the only one that thinks I'm a good speaker, according to <laughs> your surveys. So that was a fun thing to share. I do not have a course specifically for retail shops. I talk specifically about content marketing with video. So the only way that it would not be relevant to you is if you want to use video and you are probably not going to have people in the video. <laughs> My content still works for people that don't necessarily want to do vlog-like content but it's much more effective when you're putting somebody on screen. So I think the retail shop basically needs to decide, okay, we want to create value for our audience that is uh, delivered mostly by a brand personality or many brand personalities. I mean, just look at the Home Depot channel. They provide value all the time and they have different faces show up all the time. The consistency is that orange apron, right? I create content about that, how to create an effective YouTube video content strategy. So it's not necessarily geared toward retail shops, but it's sort of your decision. Do you have a brand personality? Do you want to create YouTube content that helps you become found in Google search? And then if you do, the course is probably a good, a good one for you. Okay, do I not have a connection anymore? Somebody said I don't have a connection. I want a connection. Look how, look how bright the light is here. What software do I use to create my products? I use the same software that I would to create any video. It's just going to be a video course. Um, and then I host everything just on my own servers so that people that purchase can get, um, get the product, download the product. Um, and then I have, like my email marketing, a Weber, and um, other, like, what's, what is the word? Just, I guess, like, point of sale um, technology that helps me, like, do the transaction. So, but everything's actually on my own servers, if that makes sense. I'm, like, waiting for somebody to come in here that I know. By the way, did anyone notice that this table is wobbling other than me? <laughs> I do use dark posts sometimes. It just depends on what the situation is. I tend not to pay Facebook for something unless I am getting very clear ROI on it. So 
if I want to promote a video, I will just upload a video straight to Facebook like I did today rather than send uh, a link. But if I want to promote like a webinar, then I will pay for a dark post or sponsored advertising. Does that make sense? Somebody asked how close I am with Austin Evans. He's my home skillet. Is that close? That's like my YouTube bestie. Okay, can I tell you guys a secret? I thought of this yesterday. Hearts, if you want to hear a secret, I genuinely want your feedback on this. No one cares. No one cares about my secret. It's so disappointing. Okay, so I wasn't supposed to do any traveling in August, but you guys know how it is. It's very difficult to stop traveling when you love it. Love it, love it, live it, love it, live it, love it. So I was thinking about going on a collabo tour. Like what if I like took the entire month to travel around and create videos of people like almost every episode in August, not in my usual place. Does that like get you excited? Does that make you think like, mm, that's a lot of stupid stuff. <laughs> I just think it'd be really fun to like go to where other people are and be like, let's talk about something important at your office and get out of the, just like get out of the mundaneness of my bookshelf. I can't tell you who. I'm making some calls and seeing what the possibilities are, and there's definitely some really cool people. Aw, uh, except for that you'll be in Columbus. Oh no. Well, I'm not gonna like leave forever. I'm just saying, like, I. I would just have to get enough videos for August. That's what I was thinking about. It's coming up really quick. I feel like that could be my alternative to like the vlog every day in August thing. Because I already vlog a lot. And I'm probably just going to live stream every day in August for that matter. I'm probably not even going to post a YouTube video every single day. Okay, so no real feedback on that. I guess I didn't give you a ton of details, but... I don't know, I think it sounds like fun. Like, I feel like I'm constantly making videos in my office and I just think it'd be fun to change it up. And instead of spreading them out, like I usually do, like one popping up every once in a while, like doing them for a month straight. Like, I think that'd be kind of cool. A month straight. That's like 12 videos in Savvy Sexy Social Time. Do you understand that? Cool, Catholic mom's on board. Awesome, awesome. While I was thinking like road trip style, which means it would be mostly Midwestern people and East Coast people. Does anybody have any thoughts on that or suggestions, people you'd want to see? Yeah, I'm aware of the kind of views that Marquez gets. Marquez has been on my channel a couple times, actually. I think Marquez has been on my channel twice, and he was on my podcast once. That was in January at the Consumer Electronics Show. I think we have some Marquez lovers in the house. Shocker. Okay, well, that is my idea. I'm kind of like, you know how you like come up with an idea and you're like, that's a good one. I want to do that. I'm that type of person where I'm like, I gotta do that. Like I have to, as soon as I know I have to do something, I do it. It's probably going to be a recipe for disaster at some point, but I had a pretty good childhood and upbringing. I don't make bad decisions, typically. <laughs> I don't think. So that's my plan. That's my plan for now. Okay, can you guys do me a huge, huge favor? I have to do this thing that I really don't want to do right now, so I have to go. But if you could do me the biggest favor, I'm going to do this really fun Applebee's things later, and... It includes me live streaming and eating and drinking at the same time. Like, that is talent. That the fact that I have to do that, it's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. So I need some support on my stream for that. I really want Applebee's to be happy with me when I stream later. So, will you please share my Periscope with your universe? And by doing that, I will hearts on fire medicine woman Dr. Quinn, the crap out of you forever.
Thank you so much. I'm very much excited to take my friend Sarah out. We're going to go have so much fun, even though she's like sick and I'm dragging her out. But she and I are going to have an apple be awesome time. It's going to be at 8 o'clock Eastern. Thank you for asking me that. 8 o'clock Eastern. Or I might jump on the stream a little bit earlier than that. It just depends on like when we get there. But that's like roughly the time I'm planning on like sitting down. I'm not that active on here. I would say that today I'm extremely active on here. I just joined. When did I join? Who's here from San Diego that was with me in San Diego? Probably nobody right now. Um, yes, I'm going to be at the actual Applebee's. Jean, I'll see you at 8. Thank you so much. I'm going to be... Um, this is like my 21st Periscope, and I just joined on June 30th. June 30th was my first ever Periscope. So, yeah, I guess it's only been a month, but I've been doing them a lot. I might have four of them after the end of the day today, though. SM Day, SD. Social Media Day, the only social media day, the one in San Diego. Man, I can't believe how good that event was. I still keep telling people about it. It was a sleeper. It was a bit of a sleeper. Okay, great. Thanks to those of you who shared. Thanks to those of you who hung out with me while I drank my green tea. I am going to do this thing I really don't want to do right now, and I really appreciate you helping me procrastinate, but what are you procrastinating on right now? Because this is not helping anybody. And I will be back on here at 8 o'clock, and hopefully I'll already have 100,000 hearts. Should she get a manicure first? That's the real question. It's not that bad. Oh my gosh, it is kind of bad. It's kind of bad, guys. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll see you later. Hearts on fire.